This lesson is called Parts of a Regular Polygon. This is a regular polygon. It has six sides, which makes it a hexagon. And it's a regular hexagon because all of its sides are the same length. So this is an example of a regular polygon. This is a particular polygon called a hexagon. So let's look at the names of the parts of this regular polygon. This part of the polygon, the area inside its sides is called the surface or region or area. So this is the surface of the polygon. It's a measurement of space. The sum of the sides, the length of the sides, that distance is called the perimeter. So if I added the length of each of these green sticks together, that would give me the line called the perimeter of this regular polygon. Any one of these green sticks represents a side. So a regular polygon has a certain number of sides. A regular hexagon has six sides. All of them are equal. A regular polygon has the same number of angles as it has sides. So here is one of the angles of this regular polygon, this regular hexagon. And like its sides, all of its angles are the same measurement, are the same size. So I have a special measurer for a regular hexagon. The angle in a regular hexagon is 120 degrees. And each of these angles can be checked against that measurement. It has all the same size angles. At the point where two sides meet, there's a vertex. And this regular polygon has the same number of vertices as it has sides and angles. So a regular hexagon has six vertices. One of them is called a vertex. We have a special name for the side of a regular polygon on which it sits, on which it rests. This side is called the base. And we like to put a regular polygon on a base that is horizontal, that is parallel to the horizon. So this is the base. But any of these sides could be rotated to become the base of this polygon.